Welcome to Fort Worth, where it's a Texas-sized tilt in the shadow of the stockyards. You're watching the Big 12 on ESPN alongside King McClure. I'm Rich Hollenberg. TCU winners of four straight games looking to take down their rival. They're meeting for the 191st time, the Texas Longhorns, who control the opening tip. Emmanuel Miller, reigning Big 12 Player of the Week. First shot is good, shooting 40% from beyond the arc in Big 12 play. Getting his teammates open shots, but he has to be able to be more of a scorer if they want to win tonight. Anderson for three. And it's three buckets early for number three, Avery Anderson. Getting what you want in a half court, you have to be able to get stops, and Tyrese Hunter gets another one right there. Former Defensive Player of the Year when he was a freshman. And there. The dime for the alley-oop. And right there we see the transition, high-flying alley-oop play. Tennyson coming off the bench after that injury and knocking down his first three of the game. Bumps up to 48 in Big 12 play. That's saying something for Trey Tennyson. A three is matched by Brock Cunningham, who's really struggled from the field. That's a great sign for Rodney Terry in Texas. He's capable, not his specialty, but he can do it. Cunningham spots up and hits his second three of the game. Prize transfer from the portal. Held scoreless so far. To sue for three. One of the best three-point shooting big men in the nation. He's now 16 points away from passing Danny Manning on the all-time scoring list. Dylan DeSudo taking the offense into his own hands, his second triple. There's nothing really complex to his game. When you talk about having a deep bag, he doesn't really have one. He's just extremely skilled. And you want to talk about skill. With pressure on the offensive glass. And there's a pickoff. And a dunk from Kendall Weaver. Oh, the takeoff right there. That's what he has to do. He has to be able to set his teammates up for success. And uh oh. oh. It has been a dunk show in Funky Town this afternoon. And Dylan Mitchell chips in. He's in double digits. Cunningham gets it to Shedrick. And a great finish for the Longhorns of double digits now against 25th ranked TCU. Slow first half for Emmanuel Miller. Only five points for him. The three from Tennyson, and don't get him started because he can start chefing it up. It's the length of TCU, they're putting taller guys like PV. Shot fake, three ball from number two, Eman. Texas with a four point lead and the ball, looking to snap a two game losing streak, and Dylan DeSue doing his part. He's got a dozen. A two point TCU win, and they storm the court because. Texas was ranked ninth at the time. Stingley, got it! Oh. Miller with 10. Here's Dylan Mitchell. Double-double already, and he's got a chance to add to that. 12 points and a chance for 13 for Dylan Mitchell. Almost picked up by Mitchell. Here's Hunter in the fast break mode. And Eastmiss pays it off. Grew up about an hour away in the Metroplex. There's a follow slam by Shedrick. A 7-0 Texas run. Miller for three. And that is a great answer. One-on-one, -on -one, Max Aismas, had he not got the steal, that would have been a bucket. And Aismas at the other end. An and one opportunity. Heavey essentially face guarding Ace Miss. Three to shoot. Step back. Boom it! One of the best tough shot takers and makers in college hoops. Went on a 7 0 run themselves to tie the game. Oh my goodness! It's going to be a Texas road win in the 191st and possibly final chapter.
of this Lone Star rivalry between Texas and TCU. Horn Frogs three game win streak goes by the boards and Texas snaps their two game road or losing streak.